Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be pranking all of our radios. And yes, the H's are dead. I know that, but yeah. Anyways, we're going to be raking all the radios from worst to best. And I, all 14 of them. Now, this might be a little bit hard because I don't really know what to expect out of it. But yeah. Also, I will make another ranking video whenever those radios come. Anyway, we'll get started. And coming in at number 14 has got to be the KIDO KA331 right off the bat. And the reason why this is not one of my favorite radios out there is because there's one, there's no screen. Two, you have to put it on batteries. Around the Carolinas. And it was such it's just, and it, even mine actually has a bent antenna, which they can bend very easily. Now, so this thing has a lot of downsides. And we also mentioned that the tuner on this thing, the tuner on this thing is incredibly horrible, like horrible to the end of the world. I can't even tell you how bad this tuner is. I mean, if you go to the AM real quick, let's turn it on. And I'm going to go to the station. 980 the way. And guess what? Mark Short. It, it's supposed to be on 980, but it looks like it says it's past the 100 mark. So, the tuner on this thing is very, very inaccurate. And that is one of the biggest downsides, especially for AM DXing. Which, the DXing range on this thing, I gotta admit, is pretty good, but it is very, very hard. How can you even AM DX with this thing when you don't know what the heck your station is? Because it's just, even the littlest touch, it just changes. It also comes with a flashlight, which I think the flashlight's kind of useful. It could definitely be useful in a lot of situations if you were to take this thing and out on the go. But for radios to take on the go, there's way many better options out there. The ER210 would be a good thing to take you to take out with you, or any of the ER radios really are much better radios to take on the go. So that's something right there. Coming in at number 13, we got the BC, the Unit and Bearcat BC 92 XLT. Now, this is a, I don't think this is a bad scanner. I mean, but the reason I'm ranking it right now so low, but so low, is because I haven't been able to figure this thing out yet. Because the setup on this, on this thing is just very tricky to find out, which makes it kind of a halt. And if you're, and up there it also says BC 92 XLT has a squelch, a headphone jack, and mine came with the Venta antenna, but that came from heavy use, so it is pretty rusty, and it is very old as well, but when you get old radios, you get sounds like this, so pretty dang cool, I must admit, but this radio does have, yeah, the setup is pretty much the main downside, and you can get many better skins out there. This one retails for about 80 bucks, and uh, you could probably get one for cheaper with even more features that's at least used. So, yeah, good luck. Coming in at number 12, we got the East Hunt Zone Guard. Now, Zone Guard is a, very, is a good radio, I must say, but I'm ranking it so low just because of all the downsides of this radio, because it has a lot. That we need that to that we have to discuss. All right, so and sorry for the screen, but so the first thing, um, recording this thing is a is a huge huge problem because the screen always likes to, it always likes to just get in the way of your recording. I mean, you can't even see it. So, but you can see it from here. Right, you have to do it from a distance in order to see it. But the reason, okay, let's actually just get into the downsides of this thing. So, okay, okay, first off, I want to now, the, at first, there's no problems. I mean, it's a normal radio otherwise. It works fine. Here's something very annoying. Let's check on the volume for a second. The volume's currently at level 8. Can you hear how much louder that is? Compare this to that. You see, the FM is way louder. It's just insane, and I've never understood that, but it is. By the way, the station we're hearing with WRMRFM. 
Tuesday now another Friday downside 20. about this radio is that for ordering it to activate you have to put it in standby mode which no one likes that and you have to push this button on the side the one on the top and then it'll be in standby mode but that's the only way it'll activate because it won't activate for any other reason and another downside that we have to discuss is definitely the setup because the setup on this thing is very very difficult just the way the navigation of the setup is just very very weird like and it also says defat siren but the reason why is because to select stuff there well there's no select button you have to push the right arrow button but that's very very confusing so i don't understand why anyone would have to navigate through all that stuff thunderstorms. we're gonna put this back on a standby and we're gonna put this back up here and uh, yeah, it kind of wraps it up for that radio. But yeah, this, this radio could definitely be better. And for some reason, mine has a yellow advisor in it, not a green one. But yeah, it's overall then probably a better radio. I mean, other than those downsides, it would be a very great radio indeed. And I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me for ranking it, but I, I can't really do much to make up for that. Number 11. We got the Radio Shack 12-250. Now, retro? Yes, indeed. Yes, in fact, yes, indeed. Well, the reason why this radio is kind of low, I mean, it's a great radio, let's be honest. But it is old, and knowing that it's old, it's going to have its downsides. So, first off, I need to go off with, the, uh, with how weird the setup is. You have to put it into a setup mode by pushing the doing down a switch back here. And doing that, you have to find it at first. And then, and then to even do anything to set it up, you have to take this cover off. And when you do that, and this agent just got knocked over, it's the way to get through the stuff, as you can see. Like, here's all the sand codes and all that. And here's all the warnings that you can turn on and off. So that's what you have there, and the numbers are meant for your same codes. So, but pretty, pretty, pretty dang, pretty dang nuts. Um, but otherwise, this does have an old speaker. So, but it's still a very bright radio, and it is very old, like I said, but it has a lot of nice features to it. Here's another downside, though, we have to discuss. It doesn't have a clock. Now, I know that's not really the biggest downside, but it's still one of the very, I mean, it still doesn't have one. Besides having a screen, it does not have a clock, which is okay. But it's, it's I mean, like, you got to remember, this radio was made in 1999, so it's got a lot of old stuff to it. So, and, and also the antenna right here, you can tell it's a radio shack antenna by the tip, but yeah. Good radio, though, otherwise. Coming in at number 10, we got the Lordworks EAR-10. Now, this is a medium radio. And, but here's something. Here's the downsides of this, of this radio. One. Tuesday. A dry cold Bad from speaker. Two. Speaker is in the back. Three. It has a very small antenna and very bad reception as well. And also, the very loud button beeps. You cannot turn off, so. Yeah, you're gonna have to hear this all day. But, <laughs> yeah. And the weather. Southeast wind, 550. This speaker could be better. You do have to turn it up actually quite a bit to hear it that well. But I do have the white version. That's what it looks like. But, there isn't too much else to tell about. It does have a dual uh, back light, so it's kind of nice. And also, the alert test. So, that's kind of nice as well. And yes, the all the other, I wanted done the alert test on all the other radios we've done so far, but they never actually had alert tests. So, yeah. Coming to number nine, we got the WR100. Now, the WR100 is, it was a tough one to set up, but I decided to put it in number nine for one big reason. And that's because sometimes this, a lot of these V5s like this have high pitched wheels. And I gotta say, it is annoying when it happens, but somehow mine fix itself, but I've seen worse. Like, I have another spare one in there and it doesn't even work. So. Um, but 
because of that. But if we go to the other features, this is a very great radio. Very classic. And yeah, has, the speaker does good for its time and has times, alarm clocks, same codes, sadly. It has the alert task, which is awesome. So I'm gonna love that. So yeah, this radio right here is a beast. Coming in number eight and number seven are the two HHs now. I can't really show you anything on them because they're both dead and they recharge, but they are very great and they have nice weather and nice speakers, but they and they also have headphone jacks as well as some options to turn off the normal weather radio, which is actually a good way to save battery. It also has some other nice features and the alert test, uh, yeah, I can't really do that right now, but yeah. It is, they are very nice. So they, they they do their job and they're good for they're good for portable weather radio. So they do a good job and there's not really too much else to say about these things, but yeah. Good job, everyone. Number six, we got the WR120EZ. I do not have the WR120B, but I do have the EZ, and the EZ is the one without the same codes. You can, all the codes are just programmed into the weather radio. Now, this radio is very common, but for being such a common radio, it's actually one of the best ones of all time. Not really. It is one of the best ones, and uh, this radio is definitely a a conquer and um, before I get into the other stuff I'm going to turn the backlight off because it might be very hard for you to see what the thing's saying so we're going to turn that off and yeah so like lots of other weather, all weather radios you can actually leave it off all time now some of the older radios you can only have it like normal which will be on for a few seconds and then turn off but you can actually just turn it all off all the time on this one it's got clocks it's got you can actually set the uh what alerts you want on or off, which is very nice. Just like the Radio Shack 12250, and even the alert works. And some other radios, I actually didn't even mention that. The 100 can't though. But as the button beats would have turned off, but we'll show them anyway. That's what they sound like. And we got, here's the weather. 25 to 30 knots. Excuse me for everyone. Um, the alert test, which is very loud. And, uh, yeah, this weather radio, very nice. And you can even set the language, too. You actually set it to Spanish, which is kind of funny. Or French, if you prefer that, too. We're going to turn the backlight back on now that we're done um, covering this. We're going to turn that to normal to keep it on that. And that's it for this radio. Number five, WR300. Now, the WR300 is a good radio. But it has a lot of menu lag. At least the version 8. The version, the other versions are actually kind of better. But this one is very slow, so. But it does have custom alerts. It does have, um, it has the Beats Iron Machine enable the same stuff. Same, uh, it has same codes, which it also has a lot of other features and stuff. But it has alarm and things like that. Now, those are kind of the main things, though thing that this thing has that's also well, not many radios have is the date. Not too many radios have the date. The downside though is that the clock is very small to see. But that and the same thing are the only ones that have the date. We'll get to the same thing in a minute. But as you can see as weather. It also has a MFM radio which is nice. WAAB and FWKXS. Um, but, yes, it also has snooze. But anyways, next up is going to be very shortly. So in this same segment of the video, we're going to get right to the next one, which is going to be number four. And what's number four? Take a guess. I'll give you five seconds. It is going to be the Radio Shack Pro Dash 404 Scanner. This thing is amazing and deserves a lot of love. And um, this thing is just awesome to the end of the world. And uh, why? Well, this scanner has so many amazing features, not even close to the other one. It has marine, it has fire police, air, ham radio, and weather band, which 
I'm going to show you the weather, which it can activate. Issued at 12 p.m. But it does have to be on standby, which is a big downside. Size in the lower. But it can scroll air bands and it can scroll ham radio and all that. So that makes this radio have a lot of luxury to it. Especially for being a Radio Shack Pro 404, 2404. And on the back, you can actually see the frequencies that it says whenever the camera decides to focus. Look at this. Alright. The same team usually gets it to focus, so we're going to do that. It should be focusing now. And now that it is focusing, I'll show you the frequencies. Actually, no, now it's not. Well, anyway, since you're not going to really be able to see that, I'll just tell you. So it, it has 29 to 54 megahertz. 108 to 136.987, 5 megahertz. 137 to 174 megahertz. And 380 to 512 megahertz. So it's got a lot of frequency access. Um, it also has a tuning option that you can use as well. So you can like tune until it gets something. Or you can scan it and stuff. So you can do tons of things with this scanner. Even has a squelch, and it's it's just very nice. I just love I just love it so much. So and rip HH, but yeah. And number three is going to be the WR four hundred. Now this thing is amazing and has so many nice features. And just scrolling through, you can see them all. Just take a look. And it's a dual alarm clock. You can wake up to the radio from the alarm. It has um, you can either turn alerts on and off. And here's what the button beeps sound like, in case you're wondering. Turn them off. It has a backlight setting. You can change it to a bunch of different settings. So here's turn and then you can it down from one, which is very dim. We're going to keep it on six because that's where I like it. And there's even a button here just for, like, automatic settings. And you can set the weather. Now, one downside is that the weather band reception on this thing is pretty bad, especially during trombones. Here's the alert test. I had to do that quickly because I don't want to make it really that loud because it is a loud alert test. All the location, you can set to any or all the other same code stuff, and all the counties are programmed into it. It's also got different languages as well. So it's got a lot of stuff. It is, and like I said, it's a dual alarm clock. It's at two alarms. Even has AM FM radio. There's W A V. And there's W U I N. But anyways, that's it for that radio. Oh, one thing I got I forgot to mention is that not only does it have presets, but it has a USB port. This means that you can charge your phone through this radio. But it does have to be plugged in. But if so, you can charge your device. Off of, off of a weather radio, which is so awesome. And I can't even imagine that they came up with it, but they definitely did a good job. So, amazing job. So, number two is the Eton Elite Traveler. Why is the Elite Traveler so good? Well, I'll show you right now. It has so many amazing features we have to go over. Okay, that's copyrighted music. Now, the other thing I love about this radio so much is all the features. And we're even getting Metal Beach Asians. You see, this has a very good FM radio. This is one of the best FM receptioners of all time. You can win, you can receive like a crazy amount of stations off this thing. It's just insane of what you can get off of this thing. So, and you might be able to see that I'm scrolling the presets. That's because if you hold down this button, it will actually scroll all the stations for you and program, and, and it'll be all set of presets right there for you. That's a good side as well. It even has a thing where you can, it also has a t uh, alarm, a temperature sensor, and down here, you can set a secondary clock to show what the time is in a different country and your house. As you can see, you can change it for different cities. Which is amazing. It also has a sleep mode. That's what that 120 stands for. If you hold down the button, this button, you can actually change it for sleep mode, which is just awesome. It also, if you turn it back on, has AM radio as well. And oh my gosh, it just died. 
It's actually dying, apparently. But it does have access to AM. We'll go into the AED. I might be able to see. I'm going to have to put new batteries in here later. And it even has shortwave. Something very unique. And it just died on me again. But, okay. Speaking of the radio dying. And yes, I forgot to mention it has long wave radio too. But, which is just amazing. But speaking of it dying, it actually, apparently, keeps the time even when it's dead. So that's awesome. Don't have to change it either. As you can also see, change that. And also, if you're on the radio, you can also go to FM real quick. You can change the stuff of how fast you tune. As you can see, you can tune in these increments, especially on shortwave, where this can be that can be very, very useful. So yeah, this radio definitely has so many good features and. It also has a great hiss and okay speaker as well. But yes, this thing is just amazing and I love it so much. What's number one? You guessed it, the Sanji. This thing is amazing in every way. And it holds a good it holds a good place in the radios in all the EAS me. Why? Just look at all these look at all this stuff. Dual alarm clock. It has siren levels, you can change the volume, which is honestly huge. Alert mode, defeat siren, ad alerts, custom alerts, you got county codes, weather channel, backlight, contrast, siren test, low defaults for settings, and then the system version. There's, a, there's tons of different things that you can do on this radio. The weather, it, the speaker on this thing is awesome. It has one of the best speakers of all time. Just yeah. listen to this. Listen to well, height, two feet. How does that sound for a speaker? Whoa, oh, that's a weird glitch. It's showing the volume even though the radio isn't on. It also has AM, FM, and RBDS, meaning that it can show whatever like song playing and stuff. That is just awesome. It has, this is, this is the lit stuff right here. This is, this is just, wow. It, I mean, look at it. It even knows what songs are playing. It just, this thing is, is one of the best radios ever. And you think? The FM section is actually pretty good too. But this thing is just this one is just rocking. But yeah, you gotta love this thing no matter what. It even has and you can even wake up to the radio too on an alarm. And it even has the alert test I forgot to do. So we'll do the alert test. Um, which is down here. It actually can alert test everything. It can alert test the library, watch, and warning. Amazing. There's just so much things that would have to be covered on this radio. Five presets, you, you name it. It even has aux capabilities too. And AM, which is just insane. I mean, all the information that this thing holds is amazing, so I recommend getting one. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Yeah.